Hey there, Cancer. This is your name. Welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be your next three months. You know, what you can expect, what's going on, what's coming forward. We're going to take a look at your next three months and see what is happening for you. Now, uh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Okay? Um, if this reading doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. <clears throat> and make sure to stay tuned to the end because I'll be pulling an angel number for you. Okay? I've got these angel numbers and I'm really enjoying using them. I'm, I really love these cards. They're very beautiful and they give a very beautiful message. Um, so stay tuned to the end to receive your angel number to see what is going on for you. You know, you can also look up more meaning to your angel numbers okay so what is going on for cancer the next three months please okay we have the nine of action you're oh, excuse me you've worked hard to create the things that you cherish in your life such as beloved relationships amazing accomplishments and hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures in you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. Okay, so I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you are being divinely protected at this time. And the things that you are pursuing and the things that you're trying to do in your life, you have that protection and guidance that is moving you forward okay what else do we have for cancer okay we have do the work it's not enough to dream or play you've also got to take the positive action steps that are being divinely guided to take consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden Okay, so Spirit is letting you know it's time to do the work. It's time to really dive in there and get things done. Set your priorities correctly. The next three months, that's something to really look into. That's something to really uh, take advantage of is setting those priorities. Maybe setting a set schedule for something that you are trying to pursue or you're trying to learn more about or you're trying to improve on okay uh, so let's take another look let's see what else we got for cancer and we've got honesty I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself okay so I feel like you know there may be a need for you to be honest with yourself about a situation uh, something that you're doing in your life or something that's going on there's something that you need to be honest with yourself you need to be honest with yourself about where the situation is going okay because I feel like spirit is letting you know that um, better things are in store for you okay we have abundance so I feel like there's going to be a lot of abundance that will be unfolding for you in the next three months okay there's going to be abundance coming forward beautiful energy so far cancer okay let's get a message from tarot first off we're going to take a look at something that you need to release in order to bring in something better okay so we're going to see what needs to be released in order for uh, the better things to happen in your life okay what does cancer need to release at this time okay we have you know we've gotten a lot of swords here there's a lot of thoughts that need to be released and we have the five of wands man hmm the queen of swords okay At the bottom, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I, I believe, 
Cancer, you know, I believe you need to really focus on protecting your finances. Um, there's uh, maybe a need for you to balance your finances, balance something, um, maybe watch your spending, maybe you're overspending in certain areas. But with that four of pentacles on the bottom, I feel like spirit is letting you know it's time to take notice of these things. This overspending pattern that may be happening because it's time to start putting money away for something that you are pursuing. Okay, um, it's time to create that rainy day savings fund. Okay, and I feel like there is some situation that needs to be released. There's something and it, you know, for every sign so far, it has to do with thoughts. It has to do with beliefs. It has to do with a mind shift. So this is no different. I feel like there needs to be an, a mind shift in the way you view yourself. I feel like, you know, there you may view yourself as not being adequate enough, not having enough training, not having enough drive, you know, and, you know, that could be just due to your sign. You know, I, I know cancers really like to get their sleep. They really like to kind of procrastinate and delay things so it may be in your stars it may be in your horoscope but I, i'm just saying that there needs to be a mind shift you need to view yourself in a different light and maybe take priority on a few things that you you want to improve on okay so be mindful of that and also be aware that you don't have to be fully clear on every situation in order for you to take a step or to make a move you know you don't have to have a full understanding although i feel like you are getting a better understanding of the person that you are and your personality i think that you're very aware that sometimes your thoughts can wander and you can lose focus on what it is that you're doing what it is you're trying to pursue because I feel like you know you know if something is delayed or if something don't work correctly just as you plan maybe you tend to give up or maybe you tend not to work as hard because you feel like it's not worth the effort okay okay cancer I feel like if if it's something that you want to pursue I feel like it's worth putting your time and energy into, you know, giving it your all, not just giving it half, you know, giving it your all to see where it takes you. I feel like that's where you're going to find your success. That's where you're going to find that true ability in um, whatever you're trying to grow or whatever you're trying to manifest or bring to life. Okay, so now let's take a look at your challenge, Cancer. Let's take a look at what may be challenging you at this time. Let's take a look at what may be challenging you. <clears throat> Thoughts. Wow. Yeah. Four of Swords. Two of Wands. The King of Pentacles. Okay, that is your challenge. Wow. Okay. There we have these thoughts again. Okay. Your challenge is to change your thinking. Bring about new thoughts, new ideas. Change your beliefs. Um, work on deciding what's most important to you. And really putting in the effort. Okay. Um, another challenge is going to be for you to stop procrastinating as much and also getting enough rest without overdoing it i feel like sometimes cancer i feel like sometimes you get kind of you know don't shoot the messenger here okay i feel like sometimes you get those lazy spells to where you just want to relax you just want to lie in bed and not do nothing Okay, I feel like, you know, you enjoy your quiet time, you enjoy your sleep. Um, so a challenge of yours is going to be to move away from the feeling of 
procrastinating and the feeling of that laziness. Sometimes when you get into those lazy spells, and I know I do too, you know, so don't shoot the messenger because I'm, you know, victim of it as well, okay? Um, but when you get into those lazy spells, it, you know, just get yourself moving. Turn on some tunes, you know, turn on uh, YouTube videos or, you know, a movie that you like to watch and get to moving while you're, while you're doing something or while you're listening to something. You know, turn on an audio book or a podcast and just move. Get it done. Okay, just start. Once you start a project or start an activity, you're more prone to finish it. Okay, and then push yourself to finish it. Another challenge that you're going to have, Cancer, is to plan. To plan and be proactive. You know, I feel like there's a lot of plans that you may have. I feel like you, you know, you're, you want to be able to see the world. You want to be able to experience new things, new growth. Um, but I, I do feel like, you know, you like things exactly the way they are. So I feel like change and kind of growing it's kind of slow for you, but I feel like, you know, there's a push here for you to move into this new idea, this new space, take more chances, more risks, take that leap of faith, okay? Because I feel like the world is yours. You just have to pursue it, okay? So the world is yours. You just have to pursue it. There's many blessings out there that have your name on it, Cancer. You just have to have the drive to go out there and get it, okay? And the Two of Wands, this is planning, a plan for action, okay? So there needs to be a plan for action. That's one of your challenges. Okay, another one of your challenges, <laughs> Cancer, I'm sorry. It feels like there's challenge after challenge, okay? But... Another one of your challenges is your finances. I feel like you're struggling with your finances. You're struggling to be more stable. You feel like you don't have enough, but I feel like you do have enough. You just need to know where to put it and how to use it because we have the King of Pentacles. We don't have the Five of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like you do have enough. You just need to know where to stretch it, okay? You need to know where to utilize your finances the best. Okay, so there may be, um, it may be a challenge for you to um, kind of look up a budget plan or look up um, a way to use your money more effectively. Okay, so that may be something that you do. Maybe put on an audio book about, you know, using your finances effectively, um, you know, look into, you know, more understanding of where to put your finances, okay? Because I feel like you're stable. I feel like you have a lot of stability, but you just need to know where to put those finances so that you become more stable and you feel like you're more stable, okay? So now let's take a look at your blessings. What is coming in for cancer? What are your blessings? What is Cancer going to be blessed with in the next three months? What don't they see coming? Okay, the devil. Okay, could be a Capricorn. Could be releasing negative energies. Okay. The King of Wands. Wow. The High Priestess. At the bottom, we have the Three of Pentacles. So... Okay, I feel like you are actively, you know, collaborating with someone. You're working with someone on a project, on some kind of situation. You know, there's help here. You're receiving some kind of help to gain more stability. So I feel like, you know, whatever you're doing, I feel like, you know, you're on the right path. And I, with this devil card, now this is your blessings. So I'm not going to see this as a very negative card, but I will see it as you removing negative things from your life. You may also re be removing some kind of addiction, some kind of 
obsession that you may have. I feel like you're releasing this obsession. You're working past it because you know the happiness that you know, no happiness is going to occur from being obsessed with this situation or, you know, having these negative energies around you. So I feel like you're working on your happiness. There is reason to celebrate. You are receiving success in the next three months. There's things happening. I feel like you're making moves. You're adapting to your situation. You're becoming a go-getter. You're becoming more active. You have more drive, more assertiveness. Because, Cancer, you are finding the boldness, that charm about you that people love so much. And I feel like there's a fire to pursue whatever that you want to accomplish. And I feel like those big blessings are coming. They're slowly being revealed. You know, she's holding the keys and she has this scroll that she's reading because something is being revealed. She's giving these keys to the kingdom away um, to someone. OK, but there's big blessings behind there. There's a curtain blocking that blessing. OK, but I feel like that curtain is going to be opened. That blessing is going to be unfolded. Okay, because something is being revealed, something you are finding out about because you are trusting the process. You're trusting where it's leading you. You're trusting more where you're going. You're trusting your intuition. Okay, now let's see. These cards wanted to come out. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so I do feel like, you know, you're no longer struggling in your situation. I feel like you have victory. You have victory in your situation. Look at this, you know. He's taking these swords from, um, from the enemy. And he's thrown them swords down. They're walking away in defeat, you know. So I feel like there's, not, there's nothing this conflict here. You know, you're walking away from the chaos. And you have victory in this situation. And I feel like, you know, you finally understand that you're being uh, spiritually guided. You're being spiritually guided into something better. Okay? And you may also be training or reading or researching. There's something that you're learning about. Okay? And I feel like you are... Actively pursuing better thoughts, better understanding. You know, there's something that's being revealed to you. Um, I feel like there may be communication coming your way as well. Someone may be communicating to you exactly how they feel about your situation or exactly how they feel about you. Okay, so there is going to be some kind of thought or communication coming through. This is also you being very curious in the situation. Maybe you are pursuing more understanding, more training, because I feel like you're searching out information. Okay, there's something that you're very curious about. There's something that you want to find out more information about. Okay, so I feel like you're actively pursuing. You're, you're changing your habits. You're moving into a more stable position and more better outcome. Okay, now let's take a look at what is going on for cancer in love. Okay, what's going on for cancer in love? A message for cancer in love, please. Okay, date. You'll be meeting somebody. You'll be going out on a date. Someone's going to ask you out on a date. Um, yeah, okay. So I see that you're getting out there. Okay, and you also have love calls. So I feel like someone, you're talking to someone a lot over the phone or over text. I feel like you're texting back and forth. You know, there's a lot of communication going on. Someone is thinking about you and they want to let you know exactly how they feel, Cancer. Okay? Oh, wow. Beautiful. So I feel like you're getting out there. You're, you're really enjoying yourself. You, you're dating. You're uh, trying to find that special someone. 
I'm not sure if you found that special someone, but I feel like you're actively pursuing them. Okay? And the message is, I miss you. I need to see you. Okay. We have go with the flow. You know, don't try to force something to happen. Let it happen naturally. Okay? And we also have going through transformation and changes. Okay? And there may be an apology that you have to accept. Okay? Someone wants to apologize. If you have a question, the answer is yes. Someone's telling you yes, Cancer. <laughs> Someone's telling you yes. So great. Okay. Let's get some cards here for Cancer. We're going to take a look at the Manifestation Moonology for Cancer. The Manifestation Moonology, please. Okay. We have Go Deeper. New Moon and Scorpio. So when you think that you have an understanding of something, try to gain a better understanding. Go a little bit deeper. If you're meditating, go deeper. Find that power within you, okay? And we also have first quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power, okay? And we also have keep your heart open. So open up your heart to love, Cancer. Because I feel like love is, is, is coming for you. It's coming for you. It's back there. Okay. So let's take another. We're going to take another oracle card for Cancer. See what else we got here. And cards just want to fall out all over the place. And then I have a hard time reaching them because the position I'm in. Okay, so we have ease and grace. Okay, so Spirit wants you to know to, you know, relax in your situation. You know, take things gracefully. Okay, we also have transformation. So you're going through changes. Okay, and let's see, we have take charge and action. So be a go-getter. Go get what you want. Cancer. Okay, let's take another angel card. Let's see. What else do we have for cancer? We have light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Okay. And we also have ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. So, Ascension, I feel like, you know, um, you're growing. This is transformation, okay? This is, you know, changing your position, growing through your situation, transforming your situation, okay? So, I feel like there's a lot of growth happening for you at this moment, there's a lot of things going on, and some things may not be clear, Cancer, but I feel like in time, they will become more clear. You just need to keep putting in the work, keep doing the um, shadow work, and keep working on yourself. You're getting there. You're going there. You are successful, okay? So let's get your angel number. What angel number do we have for Cancer, please? We have, look at this, transformation. I can't make this up. Come on now. 1919, transformation. It is asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connection to new beginnings. Okay? Your affirmation. I release what no longer I release what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to the transformative energy of the divine. Okay? So you are being transformed. Okay? So that's beautiful, Cancer. So, 
If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Um, also, if this doesn't resonate fully, please take a look at your moon, rising, and your Venus sign. I have those in your playlist. And until your next reading, Cancer, many blessings to you. Love and light.